I'm sick and tired of all these videos on YouTube promising you to start making passive income and make a lot of money while you're sitting on the beach and not doing anything or doing all the work now and not doing anything later. I think this is actually a lie. This is not helpful. And I actually think that people who are trying to move you away from doing client work is actually harmful. Client work is amazing. It's actually great and it's very helpful for your career, even if you want to make a lot of money, even if you want to scale, even if you want to move from services to product-based businesses. Stay with me because I want to explain this to you, even though I think it's kind of like a contrarian view, but stay with me and let me know in the comments what you think. So here's my first point. Number one, there is no such thing as real passive income. Nothing in life is passive, right? It takes, first of all, a lot of work upfront to do the work. And then it usually takes a lot of time to promote it, to sell it, to services, um, and to make sure that it stays up to date. No matter what you do, if you sell courses, if you sell templates, if you sell whatever you do, you're always going to have to maintain it. Now, even things like real estate, if you buy a house and then you rent it, you're still going to have to make sure that people, you know, you have people to rent it to, that the house is, you know, maintenance or whatever. You always have to take care of your assets that you're building. So nothing is really um, is, is really passive, right? So there are things that are maybe more high leverage, right? And maybe you can create them once and sell them more time. So there is leverage, but, and that's really the thing that I think most people uh, miss out is, as I said, it takes a lot of work up front, and then you're getting paid later throughout time. So it feels like, oh, now I'm not doing anything and I'm getting paid. But that's not true. Because number one, you still have to work for it. But you're now getting paid for work you've already did. So you're just getting paid later. And this is where you actually have to do the math and start figuring out, okay, if we take all the time I invested in this, and all the money that it's actually made throughout the next few years, how much time did I, how much money did I earn for my time? Was it even worth it? Right? And this is where I think a lot of people miss out. And so this is my second point, you need to do the math. Okay. Now there's a, a really interesting book called Freakonomics that came out in 2005, and had a really interesting chapter about drug dealers and stay with me, I'll explain how drug dealing uh, has to do with design or work or passive income. Now it turns out they did the math, right? And it turns out that most drug dealers of crack cocaine over their lifetime, they're making less than a minimum wage. I mean, they could have made more money working for McDonald's than doing drug dealing and drug dealing is super dangerous, right? You might get killed, you might get arrested. It's a really dangerous, high stress work environment. And most of them throughout their life made less than minimum wage that they could have done in McDonald's. So why did they do it? Well, they did it because, you know, they always had this promise of, oh, I can be the big boss, like this one big boss that I saw, I can be him, I can be powerful, I can be super, super rich. And this dream of being this one in a million, super strong guy is making all of these people work for slave wages and do like something that does not make economic sense. And I think the same thing is true with what people call passive income or building products or something like this. People show show you, usually maybe people who sell you courses or sell you on the dream of passive income, they sell you this outlier of, look, this is possible. I'm making a lot of money and I'm not working too much. And so this is a great way of doing it. And so a lot of people are trying to do the work. They're building products, they're creating templates or whatnot and trying to sell it. And then they find out it's not worth it, right? I sold like $15 and I worked 100 hours on this, it, I made like one cent per hour, it does not make sense. So what I'm telling you is you need to really, at least before you're getting your head into this, you need to do the math and figure out whether the math works out, or whether you're just buying a lottery ticket for a dream that maybe one in a million, uh, it worked out for them, but it's not going to work out the same for you. And so if you're buying a lottery ticket, I don't know, I'm not sure that buying a lottery ticket is <laughs> like the way to go. If people would sell you lottery ticket as passive income, you would think, really, I'm taking a high risk here. Why? But you can pay now like whatever and win gazillion dollars and you won't have to work. So this is passive income, right? But you're not going to win most likely. So you're not going to do this. So you need to do the math and think about this. Now, why does client work? Why do I say that client work is actually awesome. Well, client work versus, uh, you know, passive income or building product work. First of all, it's very, very, very easy to do, you can do it right now. And in most cases, if you're doing it properly, you're getting paid before you're doing the job, at least getting 50 or 25% 
before you're actually doing the work versus perhaps working for years for no pay, creating something, you know, and, and losing money in the hopes that you'll be paid one day. With client work, you're getting paid right now. You're helping people and you're seeing immediate results with very, very low risk, right? And I have to tell you the truth. Now, I've been a designer doing service and doing client work for 20 years and I've stopped two, two years ago. And I know that you might be thinking, why are you telling me client work is so awesome if you're not doing client work anymore? And I'll talk about that in a second. But I did client work for 20 years and I have to tell you, and I did that while doing YouTube videos and while selling courses and getting all the you know, comments and testimonials. I have to tell you the truth from like an emotional perspective, doing client work and helping people, seeing the faces of the people that you actually helped and having them tell you, dude, you did amazing work. This design blows my mind. You've helped our company so much. Doing that gives you such an emotional fulfillment that at least for me personally, from my personal experience, when you're doing like product work and when you're selling in masses, the emotional fulfillment is not close to that. So I think that number one, low risk, number two, emotional fulfillment, and number three, the ability to learn about real clients, real businesses, problems while working with them as clients is going to give you leverage to later on being able to perhaps solve these problems using a product, okay? So this is like the last point and when you, you can ask me, okay, Ron, so why are you not doing client work anymore? So I have, after been doing client work for many, many years and learned, you know, in my example, the, the process of doing design work and stuff like that and found, found my passion on doing YouTube videos and teaching through videos, I found out that I can also, you know, teach other people how to do design work and and sell and saw that that scale. So I was at a position where I had to make a decision, right? I couldn't, uh, there, I think there's a myth that says you can't really scale if you're doing services, but that's not really true. I mean, there are a lot of agencies that scaled really well into million dollar businesses, you know, seven, eight, nine figure businesses doing service work, uh, building, you know, yeah, building offices, building companies, building teams. You can't really scale, you know, <laughs> even a product without having these same struggles of, you know, hiring, managing and all that. So scaling both businesses is difficult, but if you want to do that, both types of businesses, services and product can't be, can be scaled. And I, when I was at that particular position and made the decision, okay, I have a service business, which is making six figures and I have, you know, a courses business or a product business that makes six figures, which one of them I can't probably do both of them or be amazing at one of them. So I have to pick one of them. And I chose, you know, the, uh, the education business because I'm super passionate about teaching online and recording these videos. I have to tell you the truth that it was very, very difficult emotionally for me because I gave up, as I said, the emotional fulfillment of working with clients and being in touch with so many different businesses that you learn about them, you meet interesting people and entrepreneurs. So I want to say I, I'm very reluctant from all the messaging that I hear about. Don't do client work, stop doing client work and do whatever content or passive income or create products and stuff like that. Because I think that while it is fun to do, I think that client work is an amazing opportunity to make a living, helping people, doing your craft, enjoying and doing this at a very, very relatively low risk versus different business model and also a great way to learn. So if you're doing this, if you're generating uh, revenue as, you know, with clients and you want to diversify and create other income streams and create products based on that experience, I think that's a good approach. Again, I did this and I think this is a good approach, but saying don't do client work or client work is, you know, if you don't like your client work, maybe you're working with the wrong type of clients, but it doesn't mean that client work is bad. And definitely, definitely passive income or product businesses is not easier <laughs> to make money or to make a living. Um, it's, 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 it can be great, but it's way more high risk and it's definitely not better. It's just different. This is my point of view and I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.